Let's get started. To begin, we'll need an image that we want to animate. I'm going to generate our image using Midjourney. For our example, I'm prompting Haunted Castle Corridor 1990s point and click 16 bit adventure game. Perfect. Let's go with option two. Now we need to generate our depth map. I'm using Zoe Depth, which is a free option. I'll put the link in the video description. First, click here and choose your image. Next, scroll down and click Submit. After a few seconds, we can see our newly created depth map. Click here to download it to your computer. Let's jump into After Effects. Import both your image and your depth map. Create a new composition using your image. Next, pre-compose your image layer. We'll come back to it in a moment. Now add your depth map to your main composition and turn off its visibility. Select your main pre-composed image layer and apply the effect Displacement Map. In the Displacement Map effect settings, change the map layer to your Displacement Map image. Next, set both the horizontal and vertical settings to Luminance. Now we can begin to play with the values for both max horizontal and max vertical displacement. You will quickly see that more extreme values can cause a tear in the image resulting in some nasty pixel issues. I'd suggest keeping the effect subtle for best results. Next, we'll simply place keyframes at the beginning and end of our animation and tweak the values until we get a nice fluid movement. Lastly, let's revisit our pre-composed main image. Double-click the main image pre-comp in the timeline. Now add an adjustment layer and the glow effect. In the glow effect controls, Alt-click or Option-click on Mac on the stopwatch next to glow intensity. We're going to use a very simple wiggle expression to add a little flicker to our scene's lighting. In the timeline type wiggle, parentheses, 5, comma, 1, parentheses. This will add a small flicker to the intensity of our scene's lighting. There are lots of other small elements that you could add to help sell our 3D effect, but you'll have to figure those out on your own. Drop any other ideas you may have for our scene in the comments below. All right, that's all for today. If you found this short video helpful, please take a moment to like the video and subscribe. New commercials and tutorials coming soon. Thanks for watching.